Okay, we're going to look at this um, exercise we have to do on regression lines. We're given a table like this with speeds 20 to 140 and braking distances that go with them. Uh, the braking di distances kind of depend on the speed your car is going. So um, these are the X values and these are the Y values. Now, what do we do? We go mode, stat, and this comes up. Because whenever you're doing regression, there A plus BX, that's the regression line. Just hit that number two and you'll get two tables here. Uh, put in the X values there and the Y values values there. And then you just hit a C. Once you've loaded everything and checked that all the numbers are in right. And then you go shift stat and up will come this menu. Now there's two things you could do. You could go right to the regression line or you could do the mean or standard deviation of any part of this. If they asked about the mean breaking distance or standard deviation, it's right in here. If you hit four now, you get the uh, mean of the x values and there's the standard deviation of the x values number three number five is the mean of the y values and number six is the standard deviation of the y values now they might ask questions about that if but if you hit number five and equals there's your a your y intercept a plus bx there's your gradient of your line so you've got the equation of the line just in your computer there this is the um, correlation uh, coefficient. It tells you how strong the correlation is. Okay, now let's take a look at what we did with this thing. All I did, I put the data in, then I pressed A, uh, and I hit um, A plus BX. I put, uh, then I uh, put all the data in, and then I hit AC, and then... I went shift stat and I hit regression line and I hit A and I got that number, negative 17.14. Then I hit B and I got the gradient. There's the equation of the line. And that's it. Now, the, this, they're going to give you graph paper that's pretty nice. And if you ever have to do one of these, these points shouldn't be quite as nasty as this question. But um, if you tried to put on your graph zero and minus um, 17.14, you just do kind of an estimate. That's one point for the equation of this line. And you could pick another one, like just make X is 130. And if you go put in 130 here, you'll get a Y value and just graph that point as best you can. Um, another thing you could do is find the mean of the X's and the mean of the Y's that's 80 and 51.4 and graph that point. Now, when you put your line, um, a regression line in, uh, actually, it's probably a good idea just to put the line near where the points are. Don't go way beyond here. You could put a dotted line beyond. That's a good idea. And a dotted line down to the y-intercept because it's actually not, um, there's no such thing as a negative 17.17 for um, speed. Uh, we don't have speeds like that. So, um, but the, it is the y-intercept. So you have that dotted line going down here. I got a computer to build this for me. So it was a little easier, but that's it. There's your regression line. Now in this question, they ask you to use the line to estimate. So estimate from uh, 150. And 130 kilometers per hour. I think those were the oops, sorry, those were the, uh, the estimates for different different speeds here. And the estimate of 130, you just go up to 130, hit the line, and run over. And I got pretty close to 92 meters. And for 150, that's an extrapolation beyond the 150. 140 is the biggest one. 150 is extrapolation. What you're doing. So I run up to the line, which is kind of dotted here because it's beyond it. And then I run over and I get pretty close to 110 meters. Uh, that's, that would be your, your, to do an estimate. So that's how this question works. That's how this question works. So when you draw in your line, you just need two points. You can put the mean and mean of both to get one. You could put the y-intercept, then just 
connect the lines, but make it solid around the points. That's where your actual um, regression line of best fit that you're going to use is right there. Okay, I hope you find this useful.